And I'm going to kind of work on this. We should be looking into taking this on both sides and looking into. So if I'm going to take the derivative here with respect to x of y and d over dy, I'm sorry, dr dx, is going to be ln of x squared plus y squared. OK, the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. That's what we're trying to find. Cool. The derivative of ln of x squared plus y squared, so again, remember, it's going to be basically is going to be 1 over x squared plus y squared, right? And then times the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of the inside function, what's the derivative of x squared with respect to x? 2x. What's the derivative of y squared with respect to x? Sorry. Let's do this over below. Think chain rule. Think chain rule. What's the derivative of y squared? 2y. What's the derivative of the inside function with respect to x? dy over dx. Think chain rule. The derivative of d over dx of y squared is 2y, right? Bring down the 2. But then you've got to take the derivative of the inside function, which in this case is y. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. Okay? So it's going to be 2x plus 2y uh, dy dx. So I have dy dx equals 2x plus 2y dy dx all over x squared plus y squared. So what are we trying to solve for again? What are we, what are we trying to solve for? What have, we, what have they all been trying to solve for? dy dx. We're trying to, solve the, trying to find the y with respect to x. So when you guys apply, when you take the derivative, all right, you got to take the derivative of you know, everything with respect to x, and then we got to group the dy dx on the same side. Well, guys, we kind of have a little bit of a problem here because we can't solve, we can't get the dy dx to the same side unless we distribute um, this x squared minus y squared. So I multiply that on both sides. All right, and then what I would do is I would, uh, I would subtract a 2y. Um, so anyways, let's look at it what here. We have dy dx um, times x squared plus y squared equals 2x plus 2y dy dx. So again, guys, to solve for dy dx, you've got to get them on the same side, right? Everybody agree with me on that? So let's subtract this term. Crap, I'm going to have to write this over here. So therefore, I have dy dx times x squared plus y squared minus 2y dy dx equals 2x. Now, it might look a little bit more complicated, but in reality, guys, do we have something that they have in common? Do what it, on the left side, what do they have in common? dy dx. So I factor out a dy dx, and I'm left with a x squared plus y squared minus 2y equals 2x. Well, divide that on both sides. dy dx is equal to 2x all over x squared plus y squared minus 2y. Now, obviously. Um, Yeah, we could write it in there. And we could just write it or leave it um, in that form. Yes? Can you multiply by x squared plus y squared to get rid of the denominator? 
I'm sorry? You multiply by x squared plus y squared to get rid of the denominator. Yes. Yeah, relative to x squared plus y squared on both sides to get rid of the denominator. Just like, you know, I don't know, 3 equals x minus 4. If you got to solve for x, you've got to get rid of that denominator. So you multiply by 4 on both sides. Okay? And then could you show me the chain rule for 